What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another transfer daily video for you guys today. In this video we're going to be talking about Declan Rice to Chelsea and recent rumours that have been spiraling, spiraling around over the last 24 hours. We're going to be talking about links between Chelsea and Vinicius that have popped up as well. And we're also going to talk about recent developments in the AC Milan and Bakayoko potential reunion. Before I start this video, I just want to say, as usual, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to smash that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, and don't forget to press that bell notification button as well to be the first guy to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Now, let's go straight into the transfer news. We're going to start with Declan Rice to Chelsea. And we know that interest between Rice and Chelsea has been gathering heat throughout the season and especially after that amazing performance he had against us back in July. I think I was this close to say in April, but I had to remember in lockdown and everything like that. So yeah, after that performance against Chelsea, rumours just kept continuing to spiral and spiral. And we know Lampard's interest in signing the midfielder. We know about his history as well in the Chelsea Youth Academy and we know that that connection is there. You also know the link-ups with his mate Mason Mount. They've also been throwing hints here and there as well. We know that there is an option for this kind of deal. And there's been rumours stated over the last 24 hours that Chelsea has submitted an official 50 million bid for Declan Rice. And this bid is significantly lower than the 70 million that West Ham would have originally intended for him. We knew that it would be easier for us to try and get Declan Rice had he had got had West Ham had got relegated, but West Ham ended up get, having that little surge after they beat us in July and they stayed up as well, which means that they now have much more strength to hold on to their best assets. 70 million for Declan Rice, I can't lie, for the defender that we're looking for, I don't know if it's worth it. I know that we still have to sell a defender before we can buy a defender anyway, so initially this rumour doesn't make sense and West Ham have also dismissed any rumours of, receive, of receiving a bid from Chelsea recently, so that £50 million deal isn't even happening. But for the £70 million that West Ham would originally intended for, it would, be, it would have been a lot lower had West Ham had gone down. But let's look at it from an honest point of view. If we're talking about the type of defender that we need for Chelsea, we need a defender with experience. I would be happy if we ended up getting rid of Christensen and Rudiger, and then we still have the funds to get an experienced centre-back and Declan Rice. But with West Ham staying up, I just don't know if that's that feasible. West Ham are going to ask for the maximum that they possibly can get for Declan Rice, especially with selling him to one of their biggest rivals in Chelsea. They hate us. We hate them. We know exactly what it's like. They're going to bend us over a barrel for Declan Rice. It's not a bad signing if we get him because he's a very good defender and he'll be versatile as well, which links into all of the other signings that Frank Lampard has made. Ziyech can play in multiple positions. Werner can play as a wide forward or up front. Kai Havertz can play anywhere in the midfield if we're being honest he's got the skill to play all over the field Declan Rice as well can play in DM and can play as centre back and it'll be that DM that we want us to have because Kante is more of a ball carrier if we're being realistic but it is going to be hard to try and get the maximum out of him but we know what this video is saying is why West Ham may have to sell Declan Rice and the reason why is because of a Sebastian Haller transfer that they made last season they made that deal for 45 million if I remember correctly and they had an agreement with Frankfurt for 75% of that deal to be paid up front and the rest to be paid in installments but they've missed their recent payment that was meant to be scheduled for May they're missing a 5.4 million installment on the strike which was meant to be paid last May and West Ham had messaged Frankfurt two days before the deadline to say they couldn't make this deal and asked they could pay the 5.4 million deal in installments instead but Frankfurt disagreed with that they don't think that because of the whole situation through the year that that's an excuse for late in payment and then now the issue is being forwarded to FIFA. This could mean West Ham now need to actually try and sell some of their players and let's be real on Declan Rice it might be a bit too much for them to sell because they're not needing to get rid of 60 or 70 million but I'm not really sure who others who other players they're trying to sell and if this is the best transfer for them it could be one that they end up having to take also with Chelsea potentially pushing other players in the way as well. We know that Ross Barkley's been rumoured to be part of a cash plus player deal. We know that Amishi Batshuayi has also had his name put in the hat too. Maybe even Fikayo Tomori going on loan as well. We've heard rumours that that could be happening as well. So these players could come in as make weight too. But we know West Ham now might need to sell in order to buy as well. And if they need to sell in order to buy, 
we really need to try and press them for Declan Rice, but only if we can press for an experienced centre-back as well. Because Declan Rice will be good for Chelsea. I'm never going to say that it's going to be a bad chance for us. But right now, we need a centre-back with experience. Someone who can lead the other centre-backs. Because the rest of them just all look inexperienced. And Declan Rice will be good in this squad. But he'll also be an experience as well. Which means he'll grow a little bit slower. He'll need someone to learn from as well. So... Hopefully we get both those players in and we end up selling Christensen and Rudiger if that's that's my best case scenario But if not It all depends on what the manager wants if they end up going for Declan Rice I'm not going to complain too much about but me personally I want to see us go for an experienced centre-back first Moving on to the next piece of news and by the way guys, I'm sorry if I'm sweating bricks I mean like, this room is tiny as hell, but it is what it is Next piece of news, Chelsea have been inquiring over a Vinicius transfer which AS have reported after rumours that the winger has been unsettled over a lack of game time. Vinicius has been playing as much as he would have liked to coming out of lockdown and he was benched for the UCL elimination against Manchester City as well. Real Madrid have brushed these rumours aside though and Fiorentino Perez doesn't want to consider losing Vinicius and it's a point where he's even gone to Zidane he's like bro what are you doing you're not even playing this guy as much as he should because there is potential in this guy but I also believe in the case of Chelsea we don't really need to go for him it'll, it'll be a point where we're just whole stat padding wingers for the sake of it like our midfield is already stacked I think our wingers we have enough wingers at this point forwards we still we need to sell a forward if we're being honest and it looks like Mishi Batshuayi is going to be the one that ends up going but this this transfer it doesn't make sense I think if Madrid wanted to sell they'd ask for a lot of money more than we would be willing to sell we're already pushing for Kai Havertz anyway this rumor false just don't make any sense Last piece of news before I round this one up. It's going to be a short video for you guys today. AC Milan and Bakayoko. They're still pushing with the transfer. We know that Bakayoko wants to go to AC Milan. We know that AC Milan are interested in pushing the transfer through as well. The two different sources are reporting two different things. A tier 1 AC Milan source is saying they're offering 21, 20 million for Bakayoko as initial first bid. But Fabrizio Romano also said that AC Milan have offered a £3 million loan with a £35 million option to buy it at the end of the season as well. Both of those are great deals. I'll be real, if Marina manages to get back all the money she paid for Bakayoko, she needs a statue. She needs a statue by the end of the shed end or somewhere around the bridge or something like that because that's just craziness. For someone who looked like the worst player that we've seen in the Chelsea show or someone being anyone's worst Chelsea 11 if we're being honest if you're recouping that much of the transfer fee that's a madness 20 million it's a bit of a loss but for the way that he's been playing under us I don't blame us for making a loss you can't blame Marino or anyone like that this is one where it's just best for both parties to end it I think Chelsea are willing to sell him Bakayoko wants to go AC Milan wants to buy him this will probably be done in a matter of days it looks like it's going to be a very quick transfer move and it's best for all parties. Bakayoko did well in Serie A. Bakayoko did awfully in the Premier League. But the fans were on his side in AC Milan. And it's a slower league. And I think that suits him a lot more. The Premier League was a lot quicker. It was a lot more intense. And he just always looked like he had no time on the ball. Even if he was in like 20 yards of space, he looked like he just had no time on the ball. He just froze, had them deer in the headlights look that Willian has whenever he gets into the final third or something like that. It just never worked out for us with Bakayoko. So this best for all parties. I'd say thanks for the memories, Bakayoko, but it is what it is. I just hope for the best for you in AC Milan. But guys, this is the end of the daily transfer video for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on any of the transfer rumors down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the trails.